Hey, it's Martin here, and welcome to this video. This is a comparison between the VST, right here, and the hardware Mooger Fugger Freakbox. I'll be doing a comparison series on all of the uh, Mooger Fuggers, and uh, we're starting with the Freakbox. For those of you that uh, don't know, the Freakbox was part of the Mooger Fugger range released in 2000 and something or other. And uh, basically, it's a voltage controlled oscillator. That's what VCO stands for. And uh, what you do is you input sound either from your guitar, your voice, or drum kit, or whatever. And it mo that sound modulates the internal oscillator in various ways. Either it follows the envelope, the volume curve of that sound, or it frequency modulates that sound. And it can also do hard sync, which results in various forms of fuzzed out craziness. First of all, I got to say that I think the whole digital versus analog debate, that's a discussion from decades ago. It, uh, it doesn't really matter anymore. I think uh, this is all kind of subjective. And uh, that's why actually I'm doing this video so that you can subjectively hear the difference and see basically which sound you like. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? I got a series of uh, samples up here. First of all, a drum kit. Let's just play that dry. This is recorded with a couple of mics, dry in a room, no processing. And uh, it's kind of the sound that uh, you would get if you were uh, recording for yourself. And let's see, we got the hardware version right there. And the settings are pretty much identical on the software. And we're going to listen to that here. And this is the software. And this is the hardware. I think you can agree that uh, that's a very different kind of sound. The flavor is kind of similar, but the hardware spits a lot more and the software is a lot more, well, soft, actually. Uh, let's actually just change that. It's already to a stereo. That's one of the things that a hardware version cannot do unless you have two, of course. That is in a stereo mode. But uh, for comparison's sake, let's go back to the mono. I also think it's an unfair comparison just matching the knobs. You actually have to uh, change and adjust things quite a lot. Also, since my Mugafu Freak Box is like 10 years old. So uh, let's, uh, let's mess around, shall we? Adding FM amount and turning down the envelope. Switching off the sync. Actually, let's see if we can match that with the hardware. So we turn down the frequency and the um, envelope and sync off and then a little bit less so we hear a little bit of the drum kit and then change the waveform to a square let's go back to that still spits a lot more another thing that the uh, Mooga Fuga hardware does it's very reactive to the drive input see if the software does the same. It sounds a lot more like an oscillator, really. Whereas the hardware sounds a lot more like a, a reactive fuzz that's uh, not getting enough power, actually. It actually has a very, very similar sound to those Arbiter fuzz, uh, fuzz face uh, effects pedals. Um, let's turn on the sync again. And then turn up the frequency bit. It spits a lot more of the hardware. Let's switch to a bass sound, shall we? And 
a bit. Let's see if we can match that. Let's see if we can match that on the uh, VST. Take down to a saw and mix way down, and the FM is still there. The envelope is still there. Maybe a little bit less drive, and the frequency is sort of in the 12-ish range. Let's see how that sounds. Turn the mix up a bit. Hardware is way more crunchy. And that might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. Depends on what your tastes align with. Let's drive it up a little bit more on the software. Hardware. It's also a lot darker. I think we can agree that's quite a significant difference. But the flavor's there. Let's do something more vocal That's the dry sound, of course. whistling high tone that the, uh, the software also does quite well, actually. Let's hear the software version. See if we can match that a bit. The waveform is still there. And the is a bit higher. The FM is quite high. There's the software. Got the hardware again. There's like a wind blowing on top of it, right? You can hear that sort of wind going on top, which the the software has in another way. It sounds a bit, a little bit more aliased, I would say. Uh, but I think that's actually because of the emulation of the drive. I could imagine that's one of the things that's very difficult to do. Software spits too, but in a little more of a digital way, right? And it has that kind of that kind of thing going on as well. Software. A little more harsh, not quite as tough sounding, I would say. Anyway, that's kind of the way the freak box sounds in uh, software and uh, hardware form. I hope you got something out of this. I'll be doing a comparison version of all the VSTs and the Mooga Fugas, and uh, yeah. So if you subscribe and uh, like, uh, you'll see me in the next one.